Hi everyone, this is Kanna Babu. In the last class, we discussed about lot of uh, ASP.NET controls like label, text box, check box, radio button, all these things. So I want to uh, give you some case studies so that you can ex become expertise in uh, ASP.NET. So all of you try to practice these case studies. I will explain the case studies. Here you see, enter the first number. User will enter the first number in text box 1 and text box 2. And when user clicks on add button, display the sum here. Sub button display the difference. Mull button display the product. Div button display the quotient. This is a small task. Double click on the button and write the code. Similarly, another requirement enter student number, enter student name, enter marks 1, marks 2, marks 3. Whenever you click on this calculate, display the total in the label, percentage in another label. Okay. Similarly, another requirement. Design the below page. Whenever user enters employee number, employee name and basic salary and you click on the button, you have to display the DA, HRA and total salary. How to calculate DA? 20 percentage of basic salary is DA. 20 percent means 0 0.2 into basic salary. HRA calculation, 40 percentage of basic salary is HRA. 40 percent means you can consider as 0 0.4 into basic salary. Sum of basic salary DA HRA is total salary. Display here. Similarly, another requirement. Enter username one text box, enter password one text box. Click on button. Then display the errors. Username must not be empty. Password must not be empty. If the username is such and password is such, a, display welcome message. Welcome Satya in label. Otherwise, display invalid user in the label. So use multiple if here. Use multiple if text box one dot. Uh, text is equal to empty. Empty means double quotes. Hmm? Then display. Uh, similarly, if text box 2 dot text is equal to empty, something like that. You try. Similarly, another requirement. Enter username, enter password, confirm password, enter is enter phone number. Perform validations. Username and password must not be empty. Password and confirm password must, not, must be same. Age must not be empty. Age must be between 18 and 25. Phone number must not exceed 10 numbers. Phone number you can keep <coughs> max length property. You can give 10 for the text box. So it will not allow more than 10. So I want to display all the errors at a time. Use multiple if. Whenever, see this is another requirement. Uh, whenever user selects the qualification. Here I have given select your qualification, select your skills. Graduate, postgraduate, PhD. These three are radio buttons. These three are check boxes. So whenever user select the qualification and soft skills and when he clicks on button, display the user selected qualification soft skills in the label control. See, for uh, radio buttons, you can use else if. Take one variable, call, and you can uh, write else if. And after uh, else if, take one variable for skills, for check box. So one variable for the call, one variable for skills. And label one dot text is equal to uh, your call is plus call plus your skills is plus skills. And after uh, displaying, clear the selected one. <clears throat> so after displaying in the label, you can write radio button one dot uh, checked is equal to false. Radio button two dot checked is equal to false. Three dot checked is equal to false. So that all the checked will become false. Again, a fresh design will come there. So this is the requirement. Similarly, select uh, customer name Jaydeep, select gender male or female. When user clicks on button, display Jaydeep is male, something like that. For this radio buttons, you can use if else. Similarly, super deluxe large, it is very beautiful, small, simple project. You can try that one. Enter customer name on text box, select room type, some ordinary room, deluxe room. Select amenities, AC and computer. And here one button is there. So here you can see this is my super deluxe lodge. Here you can see something like this. So what is my requirement I given? When user enter John as customer name and select or when user enter John as customer name and select ordinary room, display John you selected ordinary room. Your bill is fifteen hundred rupees. When user selects ordinary room and uh, um, select amenities, is it clear? By default, you keep this immunity checkboxes as visible. Select the checkboxes, visible is equal to false. When user uh, double click on radio button 1 and write that code, and you set the property auto postback is equal to true. 
Double click on radio button and write checkbox 1 dot visible is equal to false. Checkbox 2 dot visible is equal to false. Similarly, double click on radio button to auto post back uh, true property. And checkbox 1 dot visible is equal to true. Checkbox 2 dot visible is equal to true. You can write. And then here what to do? When user selects AC, uh, AC cost is uh, 500 rupees. And um, this one, computer cost is 300 rupees. So when if, when user selects ordinary room, don't display these two. So keep visible is equal to false by default. So it will not display. And when user uh, selects deluxe room, double click on deluxe. That is else now. Double click on radio button 2 and you write the code. Multiple if you write. If uh, checkbox 1 dot check it is AC, then you add deluxe room 1500 plus AC 500, 2000. If the user selects deluxe room AC and computer, 1500 plus 5, 2000 plus 3, 2300. And if user not selects AC computer display, please select amenities. You read this case study, you read the requirement, definitely you will get some clarity on that. Yes or no? Similarly, another requirement, enter customer name, select course. One student is selecting the course here, C, .NET, Java, MVC, C, 750 rupees, .NET, 3000, Java, 3000, MVC, 700. Now, he can select the normal track, fast track, super fast track. Fast track, 50 rupees extra, super fast track, 100 rupees extra on the total courses. For example, if the student select C and .NET, uh, C, ja, .NET and Java, so his fees is 6000 rupees. So, he selected fast track, 6000 plus 50. You can give 6050 rupees. For that also I given the requirement. Or each subject they have to add the extra money. So all of you try to complete these tasks. These are very very powerful. So that you will become expert in label checkbox. And